So things aren't happening as quickly as you want them to. And because of that, you're feeling like you lost something. You lost out on something, possibly a missed opportunity. Or you're saying that to this person, like, if you don't hurry up, I'm going to leave. If you don't hurry up and make these changes that I need you to make, I'm going to leave. I'm not seeing any progress here. I'm not seeing any changing, any changes. And if you don't hurry up and get your shit together, I'm going to cut you out and move on with my life. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Ace of Swords, Three of Coins. This Three of Coins, there's only one person in it. So I feel like this is a one-sided relationship. I don't want to say like unrequited love, but I feel like you're the only one putting in the efforts here and you've asked this person to put in the efforts, but they're not, they're, they're really slow with the progress, too slow, like too little, too late almost. And you're like, well, this ship's about ready to leave. You better get your shit together or... I'll walk away and do this on my own. Tell me about the Empress. Why is the Empress here for Virgo, please? Page of Coins, Page of Swords. Hmm. With the wheel at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you're saying like... It doesn't matter how many times you say you're going to change if I don't see actions. Then I'm not going to believe you. Something about the Six of Wands. Why is the Six of Wands here for Virgo, please? The Sun reversed. This person could be like possibly not giving you attention. Or. This could be you not happy with how things are going in the relationship. Tell me about the sun reversed. Why is the sun reversed for Virgo? Eight of coins. It's like you're saying, this relationship would work if you would put in the effort. If you would start putting in more of an effort, <clears throat> you know, matching my efforts in this relationship, we could have an amazing relationship. But I feel like this person's like half-assing their effort. Like, just giving you the bare minimum. You know, like, maybe a, a few texts a day. Um, you know, comes over once a week. Or, like, just when they're 
around you. They're not really giving you attention. But they're like, well, I'm here, aren't I? Like, I feel like this person's just giving you, like, minimal effort. Just enough for you to, to keep giving them another chance. But you're fed up at this point. I feel like you're saying, like, this is too little, too late. Let's about the palace of coins. Clarify the palace of coins for Virgo, please. Death. So. Like, I, f I feel like this is just reiterating what I'm saying, like. You're, you don't want to be the only one putting in effort anymore. Like, if this other person doesn't start stepping up to the plate, you're just going to cut your losses and walk away. You had strength at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this strength card is saying, like, you realize your worth, and this person is not giving you the attention you deserve. And you're realizing that now. And you're not going to settle for anything less than what you deserve. Tell me about the Ace of Coins. So you have Justice. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Scorpio. Uh, King of Cups. Eight of Wands. Nine of Coins. And Strength. Could be dealing with a Leo. But... I feel like you're just, I don't know if you're even going to give this person a chance to step up. I feel like you're just kind of, you're fed up to the point where you don't want to give any more chances and you're just going to walk away because you haven't seen any changes. So if you haven't seen changes up to this point, why would you even give him one more chance? Him or her. But you're like, I'm I'm good on my own. I can take care of myself with the strength card and nine of coins. I don't need you. And I feel like you're going to be letting this person know sometime this week that you're done. That you're moving on. Tell me about the six of swords. So we have the Chariot, the Devil, Reversed, and the Ten of Swords. So the Six of Swords is the like, minor arcana for the Chariot, so... And you're putting an end to this toxicity. I don't know what this person did in the past, but they definitely betrayed your trust in the past. You know, you're feeling stabbed in the back, you're feeling hurt. And you're ready to just move on. This person, if they really wanted to be in your life, they should have put in the effort while they had the chance. And now you're saying this is a missed opportunity. This is too little too late. Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. That's quick, harsh communication. So let me get you uh, some final advice. for the next week. Final advice for Virgo for May 9th through the 16th. Final advice. That's too many. Mm -hmm. Final advice for Virgo. Oh, I can't say this word. The Hamadryad Lake. So let's see. Oh boy. Divination message is beware of deception and enchantment. 
a female with bad designs will lead seek to lead you astray when you are at your most vulnerable. You may be enchanting, she may be enchanting, but do not allow her to lure you down an improper path. Though you may feel defenseless, know that as long as you stay true to yourself, you will not be led astray. Keep your wits about you. The nefarious female in question may not be a stranger. She may be somebody you already know whose goals are at odds with your own. Whether she is a trusted colleague, a longtime acquaintance, a, or a dazzling new friend, do not be deceived by the glamour of what she proposes. If the situation sounds too good to be true, trust your gut instinct. It is a deception. Hmm. So this kind of slightly changes things. So, I mean, we did see the Ten of Swords and the Devil, which would be deception, toxicity. So, there could have been some uh, betrayals that you've been holding on to for a while. And you're just now either starting to let go and move on and, you know, kind of forget about the idea of this person coming back in. So that's one scenario. Otherwise, this could be a new betrayal that's just now being brought to your attention and you're starting to feel a little foolish and feel like you were naive about the situation. So let's get some clarifiers and see what exactly is going on here. Tell me about the 10 of orbs. Five of coins. So with the tower at the bottom of the deck, yikes. So I'm going to go out on a limb here and say this is something fresh, something that either just happened or is possibly about to happen. If it is about to happen, I feel like you would have somewhat of an idea that it's going to happen, so don't freak out. But I'm getting the feeling that somebody was abandoned here. Or is somebody's feeling abandoned? Tell me about the Master of Crystals. Oh, man. Oh. Ton of Swords, Ace of Swords. So it could have been... Um, a Taurus or Capricorn or a fellow Virgo that's done this to you. Or it could have been somebody that it could have been a boss, possibly. Um, or it could have been somebody who you thought was stable and secure and loyal. Um, you have Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck, so definitely some... I mean, you have two fives here, so... Definitely a challenge coming up here, um, but you're feeling like you lost the battle. And now you're kind of seeking revenge. I don't know why, I just kind of get the feeling that this man wants revenge. Tell me about the hanging man. Clarify the hanging man. Seven of Swords. So it could have been a Pisces that did this. Again, Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. We got a whole lot of swords here. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. 
Knight of Swords. Again, more swords, but this could be harsh communication. You have the lovers again at the bottom of the deck. So this could be harsh communication, but I feel like it's coming from your end. Could be vice versa. Take it, take it how it fits. If you're not a vindictive person, then, then, then it's probably the other person. But um, not saying vindictive in a bad way at all. But I feel like the Seven of Swords is you strategizing, you thinking about ways to get back at this person, ways to sting him with your words, him or her, which makes sense because the Scorpio full moon is on Saturday. What do Scorpios, Scorpions do? They sting. Scorpios sting with their words. So I I feel like you're, you want... You want revenge. You want to get even against this person. And you're not going to do it the same way they did it. Although I don't know exactly how they betrayed you. But I feel like you're going to do it with your sharp tongue. Tell me about the three of flames. Why is the three of flames here? Clarify the Three of Flames for Virgo, please. Seven of Cups, Ace of Wands. So, I feel like this is the beginning of your advice for this week. And it's coming from the Divine. Again, you have Justice at the bottom of the deck. So, this is, you know, seeking justice for the wrongs that have been committed against you, but it's also about balancing yourself out and wanting to seek revenge or wanting to get back at somebody that's, you know, mental imbalance. Slight, but still mental imbalance. Um, so this Three of Flames reversed with the Seven of Cups and the Ace of Wands. This Ace of Wands, I feel, is anger. This is, you know, high energy, um... You wanting to react immediately instead of thinking things through because you're confused and you don't want to wait around for them to get their karma. You want to serve that justice to them. But I feel like with the star seed reverse right next to it and the six of flames right after that, I feel like that's the divine saying, you're going to regret this. Just wait. They will get yours. And you'll come out even better on top because then you won't have created more karma for yourself by trying to get even. Tell me about the star seed. High Priestess. Trust your intuition. If this is a message from the divine, they're trying to tell you this through your intuition. Your intuition is probably telling you, wait, this probably isn't a good idea. Let me think this through a little bit. It is coming out in the upright, so I feel like you're not trying to block this out. You are trying to hear out the divine and think things through a little bit more properly. So, yeah, that's your advice so far. Tell me about the Six of Flames. Mmm... And those Page of Swords and the Fool, Two of Coins, Nine of Cups, Queen of Cups, the Lovers, and Eight of Cups. So I'm going to put those back, but I feel like that's saying, you know, balance out your thoughts, really think this through, um, and just walk away from the situation. Let them get their karma through how through the way it's supposed to be served to them. Don't take it upon yourself to bring vigilante justice because then it's creating more karma for yourself. Tell me about the Six of Flames. For Virgo, please. So we have Six of Wands, Page of Coins. So this Page of Coins, I feel like, is telling me to manifest better for yourself. If you want to come out on top, 
Start manifesting that for yourself. Don't manifest it through this person getting theirs. Manifest it through you getting yours. If you feel like you deserve better, manifest better for yourself. It's at the bottom of the deck. Ace of Cups is at the, bo at the bottom of this. Bottom of the deck. My God. So I feel like this is saying, you know, set your boundaries and practice a little more self-love because obviously a boundary was crossed here and you were you're feeling abandoned in this and now you want revenge um and that's not really practicing self-love that's that's just trying to get even so manifest better things for yourself really think your decisions through if you are trying to get back at somebody just for the sake of them getting theirs they will get theirs more than likely as soon as you start moving on with your life. So let's get you some final advice. See if there's any additional advice for you. Additional advice for Virgo. For May 16th through the 23rd, 2019. We're going to take this one since that one flipped out. It is the number eight, so talking about cycles could also be speaking of abundance. Goals, dedication, and process. When we are motivated by goals that have deep meaning, by dreams that need completion, by pure love that needs expressing, then we truly live life. In a larger metaphysical sense, our journey through life is said to be full of transformation from an imperfect, corruptible state towards a, towards a perfect, healthy, and everlasting state. What does not kill us makes us stronger. Thus, painful or difficult changes that we endure can, in theory, burnish us in a spiritual sense to a high golden shine. We can also seek out knowledge, opportunity, and challenge. It is not necessarily to merely allow life to happen to us. In this scene, an, an alchemist serves as an analogy for striving to achieve an end goal through study, experimentation, dedication, and perseverance. His facial markings trace the beginning and end points of his quest, from base lead through its various stages of purification of the soul to gold. Base lead, sorry. The symbol, of gold, the symbol for gold appears in the center of his forehead, where the third eye chakra is perceived to be. This card is a reminder to stay focused on the goal and to continually apply the required self-discipline. It will all be worth it in the end. So your main goal, your main advice here is to focus on yourself and not the karma of others. Um, if you're focusing on the karma of others, you're manifesting you know, negative energy. We don't want any more negative energy. You've already had enough of that. So start manifesting good for yourself. Don't worry about this person's karma. They will get theirs. And the universe will have a way of making sure it gets back to you. So you will get to have the last laugh in the end as long as you're not actively seeking it out.